Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rykon here, and welcome back to Bran's Tale. This is Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. And, well, in the previous episode, towards the end, things oh, got a little spicy for our man Bran, but he managed to make it back home. We're on day four now, his fourth day of living here in this basement, and I don't think he originally intended to stay here as long as he has, but um, it's something that he has needed to do. Now, we did get some books in the previous episode that are going to be crucial for us to um, explore the lab and to be able to get into it, uh, namely a computer book that is going to help us learn Learn how to hack those computers, which is something that's going to be vital to make it inside. Uh, we did also get a whole heap of other cool clothes and things like that that we can use, which are going to be very, very helpful going forward. However, a lot of them have to be uh, tweaked, so to speak. Um, something that I still really do want to make is a light strip. It is a very efficient form of light for us to be able to use. Um, However, we are still lacking the components to be able to do that. Namely, what we need is a screwdriver. With the, with the screwdriver, we can start taking electronic components apart, and we can get a whole heap of things that way. However, we've had no luck with that yet at all. So, light strip unpowered is what we're looking for. Um, so, we just need an amplifier circuit and some electronic scrap. We can get that by taking apart our television. However, we haven't had any luck yet. We've had no luck whatsoever um, with finding a screwdriver. And to make a screwdriver from scratch, we need to have duct tape. We haven't found any duct tape either, which is also frustrating because that's another thing that's usually relatively common that we just haven't been able to find yet, which is kind of frustrating. Now, we are injured yet again, so the question is, are we going to be able to go to sleep? It's going to be difficult to say because we woke up at 7 p.m. So it, really, we're not going to be all that tired yet. So trying to go to sleep now won't be super easy. Our arm is relatively damaged though, which isn't good. But in saying all of this, the night is still young. We could go out again and attempt to maybe make it up towards these st small storage units. I've been nervous about going up that way because... They have, there's been horde activity there in the past. Uh, we spent a lot of time just stuck in this house. If we can make it there, it would be great to be able to see what we're able to find in there. All we need is a screwdriver or some duct tape. That's literally all we need, all we're really going up for. So, oh no. I just realized we've left our knife spear behind. We left it, we left it in the mechanics workshop, didn't we? Oh, we did indeed, we did indeed. So it's all the way down there, I'm pretty sure. Which shouldn't be too difficult for us to get to. The problem, the problem as always, is those goddamn shade zombies. They're the ones that get us during the night. So they make me nervous, they make me nervous for going back out there. I mean, like, generally, we're pretty good at handling them. And you know what? We are, for the most part. So I think what we need to do now is just take off those extra things that we got. So that, for example. We also need to take off our duster. Um, just to make sure that our torso encumbrance is looking pretty good. And you know what? That looks a lot better to me. Yes, we're not very well protected, unfortunately. But, um... We still have a fair bit of carrying capacity, I think. Yeah, it, I mean, it's not terrible by any means. We don't need to have the bottle of disinfectant on us right now, though, so we'll go ahead and leave that with the rest of our first aid supplies. Um, the cigarettes, we're going to go ahead and... Um, yeah, they're also going to go with the first aid supplies. All that stuff can. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's go down here. Um, I am a little nervous about these bodies that are down here, if they start producing rodents and things like that. Something that I said I want to do is take our friend out of there if we can. Very dramatic music yet again. Let's see, where are you buddy? Broken cyborg. There we go. Um, we do have a scalpel. I don't think we can... Yeah, so we actually need a knife as well to be able to do it. We don't actually have a proper knife yet. Surprisingly enough, we're on day four of survival. We don't have one. We're back on the surface. Am I going to go all the way back down for a knife spear? No, the knife spear is something that we can create again. And plus, if we're getting into combat that is going to involve the knife spear, it's combat that we can run away from. The things that we can't run away from are the shade zombies, because they sneak up on us. Without us really knowing. Okay, and just like that, a shady zombie is here, 
right away. It tries to grab at us in the darkness. We send it reeling backwards. As it clambers back up onto its feet, it becomes visible once again as we swing out, clobbering it. The thing, nearly dead, takes a swing at us and tears at our cargo pants as we finally knock the thing down dead. Now, I just realized that we actually still have the cargo pants on and wow, we are cold. We are so, so cold without any of that stuff on. Let's go ahead and smash them really quick if we can. Okay, let's be on our way. We are falling in body temperature right now. We've got a zombie dog all the way over there. Let's try avoid the zombie dog if possible. It's by the candy shop. Okay, uh, the wind is making us cold. Oh, zombie freaking necromancer. I almost feel like we need to hunt that thing down. Is there anything else around it? It's hard to tell, but we know that there are bodies in there. It shouldn't be able to bring them back though, because we've pulped everything. Oh, we've got another freaking shade. Okay. We managed to chop at him. The axe blade digging into its shoulder as we pull it back out, slamming it in the head. Our bandages are torn as it mites at our right arm and claws at us. We knock it down dead. We try to smash it as the zombie necromancer attempts to use some fell magic to call it back from the dead. Is it aware of us yet? I can't tell. It isn't. And so, in the darkness, we start to rush towards this creature. Now, for those of you who haven't seen its description before, a twisted mockery of the human form, emaciated, with jet black skin and glowing red eyes. It is somehow painful to look at, awakening fears deep within your psyche, and even the air around it seems... Seems what? Let's view the extended description. Uh... Seems more sinister, somehow darker and more dangerous. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, that's not good. Well, we managed to clomber at it. Clom clomber? Yeah, we clobber at it. And as we do, it swipes around. We block a little bit of the damage, but falling backwards onto our backpack, we rip part of it open. The thing is barely holding on by one arm at this stage, and we took damage to our torso as something dug into it from behind. We stand back up, try to move, and swing at the thing. That move was actually an, an accident. <laughs> uh, our cargo pants are torn as we strike out again. Unable to hit the creature, the thing seems fast. We strike again, missing it. Again, missing. Clobbering it again, it is nearly dead, holding on to life. It is just there on the ground, as the bandages, bandages on our torso are torn. The thing finally dies. The creature is dead. Well, okay. It's an interesting outfit. All the same, we go ahead and kill it. Now, we are quite damaged. I'm not super happy with us being out here. Zombie cop, okay. It is hostile, but it cannot see us right now. Um, are we going to be able to make it towards these things? It is going to be difficult for us to do it. To be unnoticed. We start to move away from the candy shop. If that um, zombie cop notices us, we need to just get the hell out. Okay, so far so good. Let's go ahead and use, use the mechanical winch. We open it. I don't know if it made too much sound. We could close it, but that would trap us inside here, so that's not a great idea. Let's not do that. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of damage down here. We'll go ahead and peek. A lot of damage, in fact. It looks like part of this has been knocked down. Let's see what we got. There's a vending machine in here? It's a broken one. Looks like it was just being stored away. I guess that's the thing. I have no idea what we're going to find in these small storage units. Let's go crack this thing open. We're not hearing any noise inside them, so that's kind of semi-comforting. But so far, no real joy. Uh, zombie child. Approaching. Stop working with the winch. Yes, stop working with the winch. Ah, oh, great. Okay, I wasn't wanting to fight anything else, especially a zombie child. Something that's going to be quite difficult for us to hit. Still, one good strike with the axe should be enough to bring her down. She stumbles towards us as we gain a little bit of confidence. We strike out, missing the creature in the darkness. It lunges towards us, but we dodge to the side. We try and swing again. Blocking a little bit of the damage as it slams into our right leg. We swing again. The child dodges. We are unable to hit it. God damn, children can be so hard to hit sometimes. Don't take this out of context. Okay, we are not... Why are we so... Yeah, we're, we're really bad at hitting things today. Yes, I know our pain's super high, but... Okay, we need to get the hell out of here. 
Is that cop over here yet? No, he's not. There's nothing else I can see in the darkness, so we're gonna make this quick. Oh shit, is that inside here? No, it isn't. And that was meant to be a peak, but it was a lot more than a peak. It's a broken vending machine. Okay. This one's already open. What do we have inside? A glow stick? Yeah, sure. Fantasy novel? Just give me a goddamn screwdriver. Use the mechanical winch. Alright, well, we didn't really find anything good here at all. At the storage chests. Um, storage chests? The small storage units. Okay, storage chests apparently. We need to get back home. And we're actually gonna do so, well I was gonna say we'll do so running, because that means that if any shady zombies are coming after us, oh shoot, okay, we're gonna have to potentially thread the needle here. The zombie brute is nearly dead, which is tempting to, to take him out now, but no, we need to be smart about how we're doing this now. Okay, just keep on moving. That zombie dog's gonna probably see us, which is not good because he's gonna be able to chase us down. So let's just wait and see where he's gonna go. We're just waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh shoot, this is why we don't wait. We need to start running. And run we do, attempting to get away from the shady zombie. Attempting to get away from the hound that may very well be our undoing. Okay, we make our way back towards our home. So far, so good. Okay, let's get downstairs. Oh, the sooner we're down there, the better. Well, that wasn't a very good run at all. I wasn't expecting much, but I was expecting something more than that. We're gonna need to get our left arm bandaged up now. Let's go ahead and take some aspirin to deal with that. And, well, we didn't really get much from that. We got a glow stick and that's about it. Not super amazing. If you ask me, a terrible trip. Still, we know what's there now, and I guess that's something. Um, alright. Let's go ahead and use a bandage. Uh, let's actually just check on our other bandages as well. They're kind of still working. <laughs> I can't re-bandage the others, so I guess we'll just have to go. Alright, uh, we could. Yeah, let's re-bandage our torso, because it's really not that great. Um, and let's go ahead and bandage our left arm. And we'll go ahead and bandage our head as well, just because I want that to recover. There we go. And we're hungry and we're thirsty. Okay. What can we do down here food-wise? Okay, so we got options on the food front. Um, cheese fries. Apparently they're good to eat as they are right now, so... I guess we'll go ahead and use those cheese fries. They're gonna go off in a few days, so it's definitely worth, worth us doing this now. Okay, that's good. Is What's our kind of next one? The jar of pesto. Well, I would like to have something to drink, and you know what? I think booze is going to be okay here. We do have mineral water, but I think now is the kind of time we would want to have booze. Uh, we are still very thirsty, though, so I guess we will have some of that mineral water. There we go. Excellent, and we'll have some more mineral water. Boom! Slaked! Fantastic! God, we're feeling good about life right now. Look at that morale gain. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, sure, we felt a little bit guilty about eating, but... About eating? About killing. <laughs> uh, but no, we actually feel pretty good right now. I was going to say we'll try and just rest up, but if we are feeling so good, I feel like we should try and utilize that to do something. Um, if anything, you know, just let's have a look. Um, how is everything holding on here? Probably not super great. Um, are our cargo pants completely gone? I think they are. I think we've just got work pants now. What do I have over there clothing-wise? Yep, the cargo pants were completely torn off us, so that's something that happened. Um, right, we might be able to do some work here. Um, our tailoring skill is only one, which is not great. We might be able to do some repairing here. Um, we will check the percentage chance to be able to repair these things. We're going to go ahead and see if we can repair where uh, we need to see. Okay, so we could go ahead and crack the glow stick, or we could use the candle. Um, the the candle, I think the glow stick has a lot more charge, so we'll just go ahead, light the candle, and we'll go ahead, using the tailoring kit, we're going to go see if we can repair the backpack first of all. Um, right, we're just going to damage it, so there's no chance of us succeeding in that. That's superb. What about the work shirt? And we'll just damage that. Great. Okay, tailor's kit, repair. What about the socks? Okay, 
We should be able to succeed at that. There is no chance of us damaging, so we'll just say uh, repeat until we get a success. Now, we are going to be using thread potentially, so we need to watch out on it. Reinforcing, we don't really want to reinforce, but let's see. The tailoring is now on two. Uh, that's not great. Okay, well, we'll see if we can work it on anything else. Yeah, you see, we used quite a bit of thread there. It's really, it, no, we shouldn't be doing this. Well, let's see. The work pants, we couldn't get that to work, could we? No. The, ch the chances of us screwing it up are too high. Um, so it's a good thing that we didn't crack the um, uh, glue stick. Wow, that was difficult. Okay, but we did lose a, a charge. That's fine. We'll go ahead and just activate. Knock that out. And speaking of knocking out, I think we need to knock ourselves out. And they always go up there to sleep. But in fact, it's down here that we want to sleep. So let's go ahead and try and do just that. Um, it might be time for us to, you know, okay, not sleep apparently. Um, it might be time for us to, to look at making another reach weapon, um, if we can make a better one. So that's something that we are going to investigate tomorrow when we wake up. Um, it's getting on towards the morning now. And it's 5.30. We cannot sleep. I'm not surprised, because uh, we had a really big sleep just before. We're hungry and thirsty again. Uh, right, we take another charge our inhaler. Luckily, we haven't needed it too much, though, which is good. We're going to go ahead have some more wild apple there. And as for food, let's see, six days and the pesto is off. So I guess we'll just have pesto as it is. Just eat a jar of pesto. Bran, you're a psychopath. <laughs> I mean, pesto is nice, but like just eating a whole jar of pesto, apparently that's what he needed to fall asleep. And we're sleeping with our eyes open, which is a little creepy. But we heal, which is good. It's all going away. Ah, look at that. Good news, everyone. And our intelligence is super high at the moment as well, for some reason, and our perception. So we were under the influence of something. I don't know what we were under the influence of. We're just feeling elated. That's great. Life is good. Our perception is up. Wow, I haven't had that before. It's just because we're so happy about everything right now. Uh, that's I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him uh, so we could quench ourselves with nothing <laughs> we have nothing that we can quench ourselves with it is bright outside though so we could use the light to do a little bit of crafting potentially if things aren't too bad around us but like I said first thing that we, we're going to want to try and take a look at is um, making another weapon making a reach weapon um, so let's see what are, what can we make it's going to be piercing more than likely um so knife spear sharpened rebar that does have reach attacks hmm sharpened rebar is actually pretty good uh we'd need a piece of rebar to do that though it makes me think we there wasn't any rebar down at that construction site was there no unfortunately not hmm pipe spear Pipe spear? Mm. Oh, we'd need metal soaring and a welder. That's not going to happen. But that would be cool. A pipe spear could actually be quite good. And I imagine it's much more... Um, yeah, it's it's a stout metal pole. So it's better in all regards than the knife spear. The knife spear is just going to fall apart more often than not. Um, yeah. War scythe? That's, that's ranged. Duct tape and a scythe. What what makes it turn into a war scythe then? <laughs> I mean, that would be interesting. <laughs> a goddamn scythe. Yep. Um. Rotating blade, ninety degrees, transforming it into a deadly giant blade on the end of a stick. Attack in a wide arc. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty freaking cool. But, but we would also need a scythe first before we can do that. Uh, makeshift glaive would be amazing. That'd be really good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Makeshift glaive all the way. We just need a blade and duct tape. Well, I'm sure we can get a blade by taking certain things apart. We can't make a blade easily. Um, you can take it from a broadsword or a machete. If I had one of those, though, I think I would probably use that instead. Yeah, you can make one from scratch. Pretty sure that we can also get them from lawnmowers, except we'd need a screwdriver to be able to do it. So I think the best place for us to look for screwdrivers is still in homes. So the homes that are around here, we still want to check out. But yeah, um, we're I think I'm going to want to poke my head up today 
to have a bit of a look around, but we want to be cautious when we do that. Um, I want our knife spear back, but I'm not going to kill ourselves over it. Okay, giant cellar spiders, and we've got shade zombies, so no. <laughs> Just no. Just a whole big heap of nope. The cellar zombies I'm not happy about. They're fleeing though, so they seem to be... They kind of go between being dangerous and not dangerous, so... Let's see if we can get the this guy here. Are you going to start coming down here? If the cellar zombie starts coming for us though, I'm... I'm cellar zombie, the cellar spider starts coming for us, we're going to get the hell out of here. But we will try and screw up the shady zombie if we can. And indeed we can. Let's smash that thing. Shady zombie spotted. No, only if he starts approaching. And so far, he isn't doing that. We do have a zombie cop, though. Okay. I wonder if that's the same zombie cop from last night. It more than likely will be. So, zombie cop, we can deal with you, good sir, with our fire axe of doom. Let's see if we can get you to go through the window. We can't. That's fine. So, what we'll do is we'll bring you downstairs to our fungin. And that zombie brute, is that the damaged one? It might be, but he's recovered health, and that's not good. Okay, let's make sure the zombie cop is indeed following us as we go ahead and open up these doors. Okay. Are you going to come for me, good sir? Please just you and, and no one else. Let's turn on safe mode, and then we can just, like, wait heaps. There we go. There he is. Turn off safe mode. All right, so he's going to go there. That's fine. Clamber on, and we go ahead and slice him for 22 damage. He tries to grab us, but he misses. We manage to cut him for 17, but he scratches us as we pull the axe back. For one final hit, we manage to kill the creature. Um, okay. It's too big, too big to nudge out the way? What? What's that? Why, what did I do then? I did something to, like, nudge him, apparently. Oh, he, he doesn't have anything on him at all. Okay, alright. So he was resurrected then, that means. And that was probably... More than likely. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Look at the mess we make. Yeah, so smashing them does make quite a bit of a mess. So I guess maybe doing it in an enclosed environment would make it easier for us in the future when it comes to mopping up. But we'll go ahead and get that out of the way now just so that we have it done. Uh, let's see. What is it going to be to activate our mop? It is going to be G. A G. A G. A G. A G. A G. Bam, bam, bam. And there we go. I think that's everywhere. Yeah, look at that. Good as new. And let's stop running. Okay, we're going to go drop that mop. Bam, and let's go drop the matchbooks off as well. Okay, hungry and thirsty. So that means that we could potentially have some booze. Um, it's going to be some more ale. We don't want to get drunk, though, is the only thing. We just need a proper way of cooking things down here. We could try and make or get a brazier, a, a brazier from something. I keep saying brazier. I know I do. It's just I have a weird accent. <laughs> I say things wrong. Um, okay, zombie brute is much further away now. I'm very happy about that. He is uh, not. He's oh, he's quite damaged now. So maybe that's a different zombie brute. Maybe who knows? Uh, but I am liking seeing less of them. However, we have spotted a zombie dog somewhere as well. Um, just down here, which means that he's more than likely going to come and try and cause trouble for us. So let's cause trouble for him by killing him. Hopefully he's going to come through the window. He's trying to. Okay, and we go ahead and kill that sucker. All right, pulped zombie corpse. And yeah, that zombie brute wasn't the same one we were seeing. He can actually see us now, which is not so great. So let's just start moving and hope that he's going to forget about us. I don't think he is. And tough zombie, you're going to be trouble for us. So let's go around here, hoping to catch him on the rubble. However, the zombie brute is here now. So I don't want to face off against a tough zombie and a zombie brute at the same time. That would be a terrible idea. So I think what we're going to try and do is bring them through the home here on a little bit of a uh, chase. So let's try and do that. Okay, that's another tough zombie. Oh god, there's just... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell on earth, hell on earth. Um, they're in every direction. Okay, we need to just keep on running. And I think we actually want to try and make it back downstairs if we can. And yes, they are going to follow us, but we're kind of fighting on our own terms then. And... They might destroy the doors. We will see. 
We're just going to wait. There is a chance that they might not follow us. Okay. So far, so good. There were other things on the surface, uh, namely the cellar spiders, that might have got their attention. If that's the case, then we need to find something else that we can do down here, which there really isn't ever too much that we can do. We're going to keep our eyes and our ears open, though, to any kind of trouble that might be happening above. Um, so, we could crack the glow stick and just start trying to get our tailoring skill up higher, and I think that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead... Uh, use the glow stick we're going to activate it and let's just start to do some work here um we're going to have to go into armor over here and we want to try and make uh i think those light gloves are going to be what we're working on um the arm warmers there is potential for us wasting more though isn't there I'm a little worried about time, but no, we're going to go ahead and use like gloves, because we can actually use those ourselves, that's great. Um, I imagine we made ones that fit us, or can we refit those? Um, the encumbrance is, is minor, I think, versus our medical gloves. Let's just see how they kind of stack up. Pair of medical gloves versus the pair of light gloves. Um, medical gloves seem better in every aspect surprisingly so and wow yeah they're great i would like to repair those um although we need a soldering iron to repair them okay well the make the gloves that we just made we're going to go ahead and disassemble them we cannot disassemble them oh okay crap <laughs> well i guess we can maybe cut them up we've got a pair of scissors so um okay we're not going to make like gloves we'll try and make something else that we can do we'll cut those up though we could not salvage a rag. Great. That didn't get our fabrication skill up very high at all. Oh no, fabrication, tailoring. We're on 15. Eh, it's okay. But yeah, that's not so good. So we, we do need another option there. Uh, when it comes to making things that are going to be... Okay, leg warmers. Yeah, so we need to find something that we can also disassemble them. Two by arm guards. Okay, we can make this. That's fabrication again. <laughs> Yeah, so we're looking for something that has tailoring and a skill of one and can be disassembled. I don't know if we're going to find... Ah, noise cancelling head headgear. Disassembling it takes a minute. Okay, so there is a chance we can fail this, but I think that's probably what we want to try and do here. The rest of them are going to be zero. Yeah, so noise cancelling headgear. See if we can do it. We fail, but we don't waste any materials. Okay, that's good. So there is potential for us to screw this up, but it is going to get our tailoring skill a little bit better. We fail, but we don't waste. Okay, great. We have ourselves some noise cancelling headgear. We're going to go ahead and disassemble them. It may yield. Let's hope we get everything. Fantastic, we get everything back. So that should also help improve our tailoring. We're on 54, so we're on our way. This seems to be the way to do it. Noise cancelling headgear. Disassemble, and we're just doing this in the green light of the uh, of the glow stick. So far, it seems to be working. Ah, we fail and we waste some material. That really sucks. Where are we at? Tailoring 81, so we were on our way. Do we still have everything? Okay, good, and we're able to do it. Um, tailoring is at 94. Brilliant. So disassembling this might be enough for us to do it. And we do it. Do we get anything from disassembling? I don't know, but... Let's go create. Fantastic. There we go. We failed, but we did enough. We did enough to actually get our tailoring skill up to two, which is perfect. That's exactly where we want it to be. It's going to make it a little bit uh, more believable for us to actually repair some of our equipment. Um, really, though, I think what I want to try and do is just get better um, at, at, at tailoring before we try and do any proper repairing. So the next thing for us to do is to have a look at the next kind of types of clothing that we can do honestly a sleeveless duster is probably going to be a lot better um, than the regular duster and this will make it fit us automatically as well so uh, I'm definitely tempted to do that don't screw this up please 21 minutes there we go fantastic we got ourselves a sleeveless duster and we actually did get some rags back from that as well which is kind of nice let's go put the sleeveless duster on so it still leaves our arms unencumbered and um, has us you know with a little bit more protection our torso there yeah a little bit better a little bit better 
All right, let's have a look. Go back into Armut again. And um, yeah, so let's see. What are we going to try and make now? We can make a hooded hard hat, which just puts a, a rag over our hard hat. And you, you know what? It's actually okay because it, like I was saying before, head encumbrance isn't so much a problem. Um, what this is going to do is it's going to make us, uh, it's going to protect us from rain. So yeah, we'll do it. It's, it takes 45 minutes though for some reason. I don't know why, <laughs> why that's a thing. Um, let's see and boom we have a hooded heart hat um let's go ahead and wear the hooded heart hat fantastic okay all right we're very thirsty now and we're hungry so i guess we'll go ahead and drink more booze because that's how we deal with our hunger and our thirst here get a little drunk okay all right we're feeling very good about life we've still got some more charge left on our glow stick so we're going to make use of that by trying to make some more things what are we going to make next that is the question so we need to make uh, level two things which are at the top we need to look for things that we can disassemble so we can disassemble the tank top apparently nice it takes 38 minutes to make though yes that's uh, that's something okay we can't disassemble you unfortunately hmm but I guess some of these things would actually want like we'd want the undershirt um, it will be replaced by other things in time but it's not terrible for us to have at the start, I guess. Uh, still, I, uh, let's just keep going through on the twos and look for something that's a little bit faster to work on. Unfortunately, no. Doesn't seem like that's the case. It looks like it's going to be tank tops that we'd be making. All right. Hmm. All these things are going to be impossible to craft in the dark as well, so I guess it's just see how many we can get done. Um, I think we will actually start by making an undershirt, though, because we will end up wearing that ourselves. So let's go ahead, make an undershirt, and we are going to use the four rags on our person to make this thing. And we succeed at it. Fantastic. Which would have also got our skill up a little bit. And tailoring is now at 28%. Hell yes, that was a good jump. Put the undershirt on, and we'll make sure that the undershirt actually goes under everything else, because that makes sense. And yeah, go under undershirt. Brilliant. And that's not going to give us any um, encumbrance, but it's going to keep us a little bit warmer, which, you know what, that's nice. That's nice, isn't it? And, oh, the music has stopped. Let's go ahead and start that track again. Okay. Right. Let's see. 300 charges left on this sucker. All right. Let's um, go on to making some other things then. Hey. Cotton hat I don't think we're going to need. Um... I'm just looking at the different types of uh, underwear, because what are we rocking at the moment? We've just got boxer shorts on, right? I'm assuming those boxer shorts also fit, because they're the ones that we started with. Yeah, they're fine, and the, and the quality of them is also fine. So, let's go make a tank top, which we will hopefully be able to do disassemble. Let's just hope we succeed at creating this, and we did! Brilliant, and that puts our tailoring on 44. Hell freaking yes, disassemble into four rags brilliant okay go ahead and create it yet again oh damn we can no longer see well enough to craft that means that we ran out of our little charge there fortunately unable to get that tailoring up any higher um now we could go onto the surface to try and do some of these things but surface is a pretty crappy place right now i'd really rather not go up there not when there's a uh, a rather tough zombie on the surface and an even tougher one just behind him. No, those are things that we want to try and avoid. We want to try and sit down here and just work on some things if we can. Ah, everything and anything we can to try and improve ourselves. Well, our light situation isn't going to get any better. We only have a few charges in our flashlight. We could. We could. Um, I, th I don't think we can disassemble the flashlight into its components, can we? can't see to craft as well we need to turn it on to be able to do that um we could go by the light of the candle for a little bit longer i don't think that's a terrible idea we're gonna go ahead and do it we light the candle okay let's continue that crafting we resume nice okay and that's got us on 61 we're definitely on our way up at the moment this is really good our man is getting better at sewing. A very important skill in Cataclysm, surprisingly enough. 
there we go we got ourselves another one and we're at 78 brilliant definitely on our way and the candle seems to be pretty efficient as well in terms of um, its charges I don't want to jinx it but we haven't failed this thing yet and we're on 95 so one more success and we've got this thing in the bag here we go and BAM level 3 tailoring hell yes that is now trivial for us Let's go ahead and disassemble this. Yes, into rags. We should have rags and threads on the floor. Awesome. We are hungry yet again, and we are thirsty as well. So the quench from that isn't great. We could try and just have some of this regular water as it is. I think we're going to do it. All right. It's not good. We got food poisoning right away. Okay. We're going to go ahead and have the other thing of water. And yes, uh, the chances are of getting sick and we're going to start throwing up all over the place. So we just need to watch for that. When that happens, we're going to go mop it up. But it's got our thirst down for now. Yeah. A nation. What the hell is that from? Okay, but yeah, food poisoning. Extremely upset. That's not good. Our strength is down. So we're not in a fighting mood. We're not going to be fighting. But if we go back to here, we've got even more options for tailoring. We can make boonie hats now. Brilliant. We can make bikini tops still. Oh, literally the only thing that we can make that's tailoring three is the boonie hat. And uh, we're not really getting anything back from it. It does protect your um, yourself from glare. I don't know if we could use that in combination with our the one that we've already got on. Um, yeah, I don't think that's possible. Um, so there are there are other level three things that we can make. We just don't have the tools necessary. A spear strap. Ooh. You have to duck through doors while one's in it, though. Ah, okay. So getting through doors will be more difficult. I like that. That's that's freaking cool. But yeah, so with this, we'd be able to strap our no our, our spear on our back. That is so freaking cool. I definitely want this. So we'd need seven rags to be able to make it. Oh, freaking, we're going to do this thing. Okay, seven rags, easy. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and, and disassemble more of this couch with our axe, because that's how we do it. There we go. All right, we're going to take all the parts from this, and we're just going to start shifting them up the top. 21 rags, brilliant. Okay, all right, take you and shift you up to here. Does that mean that I had a whole heap of other rags there that I probably could have used? I think maybe so. Let's see. No, it's just nails there. Okay. I guess we already used those other ones. So the candle is still active. Um, yep, we've still got some more life in it. Okay, with that, uh, yep, as you can see, we can make a whole heap of other things. Sleeve this trench coat now. Mmm. The trench coat versus the duster is a tough argument. The duster covers the legs as well, so it gives you a little bit more coverage. Sometimes you want it, sometimes you don't, so it's tough to know for certain. Sleeve this tunic. Not a bad garment. Um, trench coat, a regular tunic. Uh, we can make backpacks now. We can make cloaks. We can make, we can make stuff. But yeah, the spear strap I think is awesome and something that we're definitely going to make use of. So let's go ahead and see if we can make this thing. Hopefully we do not fail. It's going to use a fair bit of thread to do this. Um, or long strings. Let's use the thread instead. This is going to use most of our thread though, so. Oh, yep, we reached and threw up. There we go, nausea. That's not so good. Alright, we're in a bit of pain now as well. That's okay. But hey, we've got ourselves a spear strap. Let's go ahead and chuck that thing on. So, now we can strap spears to us. That's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go ahead and take this mop. And uh, we're going to go mop up that floor. So let's go ahead and cue. There we go. We mop up our vomit off the floor. We retch, but our stomach is empty. Yeah. That was a mistake. I Yeah, I rolled the dice on it. It wasn't a good roll for us to make. Oh, my poor dude. He's not going to be feeling super good. But hey, some good news. We're doing okay there. Um, we've got a dead glow stick. I don't know if we can do anything with that. We'll hold on to it, though. Um, so, we don't have a lot of thread left. Um, actually, we do in the tailor's kit. So I'm wondering now, with the tailor's kit, if we'll be able to repair some of these things better. Uh, so the backpack, for example. Yep, chances are we can. So let's see if we can repeat until we get a success or a failure. We managed to repair our backpack. Brilliant. And we'll try and repair it again. Fantastic. Okay, repair again. We'll repair it. And 
our tool does not have enough charges but we did manage to repair our backpack a fair amount there which is awesome um yeah good news for us good news for us but now we need to try and get some more um thread so what we're going to do is we're going to take the small strings that we had and we're going to disassemble them again because they take a lot less time for us to disassemble we're going to go d okay small strings oh that was just drop whoops grab the small string we get a hold of ourselves no just oh what am i doing <laughs> consume item oh no i had capitals on my bad uh here we go small string try that again and it's capital d to disassemble there we go okay into its components and yep still got some candle left excellent right so we have a little bit more thread let's continue we're going to go and recharge the tailor's kit with the thread activate the tailor's kit t and we'll repair our backpack further repeat until success there we go great we don't want to reinforce it yet we're not quite good enough to do that but we can go ahead and repair our work t-shirt as well and our work pants Ooh, we could go either way with it we'll try though all right we managed to repair it once you get it past the really damaged stage it becomes easier to repair and now at this stage we'd just be practicing so that's good it's great that's done so let's see if we can go ahead and repair our work pants now success is pretty assured but unfortunately we damaged them and yeah our tool isn't so good there uh that's unfortunate now we do have other pieces of clothing in here that would be good for us to go for the fit over sunglasses i'd like to try and clean those combat boots could also be potentially good for us uh to swap out for our actual ones um repairing those would be a little bit more difficult though because i think we might need kevlar to repair them there is another pair but we'd have to try and fit those differently yeah so what i'm looking for in here is i'm looking to see if we do have any other pair of cargo pants that are kind of of an okay quality uh <laughs> they're pretty they're pretty damaged it'd almost be worth just making them fresh just looking at the, everything else that we have in here the windbreakers everything else i do want to make more clothing out of leather i just want to take the sunglasses for now because they they could be good for us to have over the top of our own are we or do we have fit over this no we've just got our regular glasses right bifocal which also need to be repaired as well now repairing these soldering iron yeah making a soldering iron isn't something we can do is it we can we've got an antenna which i guess would work as the actual like soldering bit itself but we need a power converter and a heating element heating element we can get from a stove again these are all things that we'd be able to get with a screwdriver <laughs> I just want a freaking screwdriver ah oh dear okay um anything else that we want to work on while we're down here well let's have a look at armor see if there's anything else that we can make um really a lot of them need thread um which we can get we can get a little bit more which i wouldn't be against us doing with the small strings take another small string okay and the small string we're going to go ahead and take apart disassemble you sir and we'll see if there's anything else that I feel like we could make use of under armor okay so all the new things are gonna be at the top um, for the most part mm, not really I mean like having some like proper good underwear is also good like a union suit is something that we'd want to try and work towards I don't think we can make one now though no yeah but to do that I think you can use the uh, long underwear and the rest yeah so long underwear top and the bottoms uh the difficulty isn't too bad though so i don't think we'll actually get any skill from making it though which is unfortunate maybe i should have made those before quite possibly should have been what we were doing um i don't think any of these we can take apart as well though no usually there's one thing that we can disassemble I don't see any in here that we can disassemble we can disassemble the tank top but yeah it's not going to be what we need there are other items that we could learn and you know what there probably are other items down here that we can take apart like i know cloaks and things like that were there before a woolen cloak would be interesting a good cloak is 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 great but um it can have a, a, a well you see it covers everything so 
sometimes not so good. A heavy cloak to be thrown over your body. Yeah. So I think all of these here are the level 3 things, is that correct? Yeah, looks like that's the case. Uh, chainmail armor, that would be awesome. Not going to happen though, unfortunately. Um, I mean, really, what would be great would be to start making some forms of armor, right? But we just don't have the capacity to do those just yet. Actually, looking at this, like, we could make some leather stuff. We have the ability to do that now, but we need leather patches. So for us to get those patches, we'd have to clean a whole heap of the... Um, leather things that we have here and take them apart not impossible for us to do so let's just have a look and we'll go through and grab um, all the leather clothing so I don't think we're gonna take apart the boots and stuff like that yet actually no we, we get a fair amount from those boots combat boots we're not gonna touch just yet leather jacket will take you I know we've got some leather pants in here somewhere as well leather sandals leather pants is that it? Okay, so we'll take those items. We'll go ahead and take the washboard. And we'll take the soap. I don't know if we're going to have the water to do this, though, as anything. Where's our soap? Hmm. Did I put it up here, then, I wonder? I did. Soap bar. No, no, I just saw it. Soap bar. Okay. Going down to the bathroom. The candle is still on. We can just turn that off. We don't need it to be on now. We no longer feel nauseous. Okay, well, that's good. We can have something to eat now to help kind of counteract that. Um, I just want to have things that aren't going to make us super thirsty, but pretty much everything is going to make us thirsty. Cookies. Cookies aren't going to make us as thirsty. And plus, they go off in a year. <laughs> and it's gone. Uh, actually, in saying this, though, we could have, like, the canned chicken. Yeah, we're very hungry, so we'll go ahead and have it. And we could have spam as well. Or red sauces. Just red sauce by itself. It's much better to hold on to as an ingredient. And plus, these are things that last for a very long time, so I should try and hold on to them when we can. Okay, alright. We're going to go ahead and activate this washboard. See if we can clear up some of this stuff. Um, let's go for the fit over sunglasses, right? Because then... Oh, we can do it all in one. Let's see if we have the... Ability to do that. 90 charges of water to do it. And how many charges? We've got six. Ah, oh dear. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. I don't even know how much water the toilet can hold. Because we could take out um, a few bottles and try and get water that way. You know what we're going to do for now? We're just going to leave the things that we want to clean over here. Um, there was a 60 liter tank that was um, in the mechanics place, I'm pretty sure drop all of those for now yeah so cutting them up it's gonna make a whole heap of filthy patches and that's not what we want at all not what we want uh getting more water is gonna be a little bit more difficult but hey look it's night time now we might be able to make it outside i think it's worth us having a quick peek okay it was oddly timed with the music there we can't see as well tonight which is a little concerning to say the least but i reckon we can give it a go, at the very least. We can give it a go. Um, do we want to try and go down to the mechanic's place? Well, I'm still not sure about that. I, I honestly think trying to check around some other houses is probably the better um, choice for us. And, you know, let's let's do this properly, though. If we're going to go out. We're going to go ahead and leave our um, washboard behind because we don't need that on us right now. Same thing with the soap. Um, everything else we'll hold on to. Even the hammer, I think we're going to leave behind. Uh, the makeshift crowbar we'll hold on to, scissors we don't need, the scalpel we also don't need because it can't really help us with butchering, the tailor's kit definitely don't need you, the candle we'll leave too. There we go, so we should be looking pretty good inventory wise. Um, yeah, I mean everything else here should be looking pretty good. Yeah, okay. Let's go on up. Um, should I have a bottle with me? You know what? I know I've gone backwards and forwards a number of times now. Oh, and we're running. So let's stop running. We are going to want bottles. And I know I had bottles around here somewhere. Tempted to take the tool belts as well. It's a little bit of extra storage. Nah, it's, we'll leave it for now. Actually, do I have any bottles left? I've got open aluminium cans. Not really. We'll keep an eye out for some water-carrying materials. 
glass bottle of Chardonnay, open aluminium can, five plastic bottles. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and take a few of these then. Oh, we could take all five. Let's do that. They can't carry a whole heap of water. Oh, great. What a good start, eh? Shady zombie there, right away. Well, we might be able to get him to walk over the table. So let's go ahead and start moving backwards. And sure enough, we get him exactly where we want him. Slashing out towards him, he manages to bite our right arm. We slash back and kill it. Go ahead and smash that thing. And get our stamina back before we go anywhere else. But I didn't even freaking see him coming for us. Make quick work of it. Well, of course I didn't see it coming because it's a shady zombie. That's how they work. Let's turn on safe mode. <laughs> so that if one does appear while we're waiting, then we're okay. Alright, so. I'm thinking I want to try and make our way over towards these houses. There's a forest there. Like a little patch of forest. It's like a park. Um... I think we want to try and... Those are two basements. I guess we've been in both of those. Yeah, so we want to check out these houses, so... Let's make our way across the road and down. And just be aware of anything that we might see. Because if we see something within our vision, it's probably going to be able to see us. So we're wanting to use our ears more than anything. So we are going to go out a little bit like this. As we make our way across the road. Okay, it's a good start so far. Okay, so we're at one of these houses. Start to make our way across. What's the time? 12 past. Okay, so we're seeing a shocker. He's quite far away, though. Alright. We're approaching another home now. Just going across the road towards it. Okay, alright, so we're seeing a shrieker. The shrieker is aware of us, so we need to start running get distance because the shrieker is going to draw things to it it's already drawn the shocker okay we need to start moving south now southeast we've got a shocker brute that's appeared now somewhere the shocker brute is far to the south quite far by the looks of things yeah quite far okay all right let's see um we don't have any more improvised lock picks so we're just gonna have to use our crowbar crack this thing open okay uh, I don't think we're strong enough. No, we're not strong enough to grab that. That's fine. Let's just go see if there are any windows. We can close them up. I'm not seeing any. There we go. Okay. Let's get a move on. We've got ravioli, we've got curry. Great. And that looks like a flashlight down there. Nothing in here. That's just a waffle iron. Okay, someone has smashed something down here. Or just, no, that's just a hundred nails. Okay, I will take that. All right, let's 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 get our stamina back. I'm running around really silly, like. Ooh, syringe, morphine. Holy crap! Okay. Cough syrup. Yes, we can get to sleep with cough syrup. Let's go ahead and take all this water. Oh, it's frozen. Hang on, we can take frozen water. Okay, I guess we're just chipping off ice. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, good. I didn't mean to do that then. Luckily, we can't consume it because it's frozen. Okay, all that water. Brilliant. We've got a whole heap of frozen water now. Close up shop. Close up there. Okay, very big open bedroom. It looks like another glow stick, awesome. Okay, hearing noises from the south. All right, someone's inside. Oh shoot, that could be the shocker brute, even. So, we need to be very cautious with rooms down that way. And that's an umbrella. It's tempting to take, but we're going to go ahead and get out of this house now. I'm going to mark this house as explored. Art gallery, sporting goods store. Sporting goods, as I said before, would be nice to try and get to, but with how close that shocker brute is, um, that's actually way too close to my liking. Way too close for my liking. So let's make our way across the road. It's going to take us to the community garden. We might try and see if we can get down to these homes and maybe that restaurant. It's kind of leading us in the direction of where we were last time. A little bit. A little bit further away, though. We've got a church there as well as a small wooded trail. There's an electronic store, which would be great to be able to get to. But that's 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 very, very far away. I'm thinking way too far away from where we are now. Um, we don't want to be that silly. So let's just start to move over towards this garden place. And then we might start to go south towards one of these homes. I'm just very nervous about that shocker. Because they can move quite quickly once they decide, once they 
find something, they can move very quickly. And we need to start moving very quickly because we've got a skeleton on us now. Okay. I'm fairly confident we would have been able to outrun it there. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we got. Close up. Turn that on really quick. Shoot. Didn't see that window. Okay, we got a noise. Food dehydrator. That thing can be marvellous. Um, it is going to take up a fair bit of space, but it's going to be worth it if we can get away with holding onto it. The sewing kit we don't need, we just need the thread from it, so let's go take that. Take the crispy... good stuff. Okay, someone is inside the house. Uh, batter up. It's about smacking things. It's a baseball magazine. Okay, we're still running. I need to pay closer attention to that. Oh, good, we got ourselves a basement. Nice. Ah, uh, there's no way out of here, so... Let's, uh... Apprehensively go down here. Wait a few turns, listen. Open the door, listen. Close the door, and then turn on our flashlight. Oh, okay, hey, hey, it's, it's very much like our basement. Seems to be the way of things around here. Hey, we got some soap, I'm not going to complain about that. Oh, we've got noises, and they are coming from above or below. A whir from above. Oh, a whir means robots. So it could be an iBot, maybe? We hear a sound from above, we don't know what it was, though. We're a little hungry. You know what we could? We could go for some uh, chewing candies. Um, let's have the crispy cranberry now, though. Um, have those. Yes. And yes. Okay, now it's just a plastic bag. Okay. We could have a bit of a, a robot zombie showdown going on at the moment, potentially. Oh, meat pizzas. Hell yes. And a bottle of gin. It's a win-win. Oh. Jeez, okay, yep. Trouble is here. Long string. Uh, detergent, nice. And this isn't a secret sneaky basement. Okay, alright, what books do we have? Ham Radio Illustrated. Okay, it's a magazine. I, t I tend to not like magazines. Ah, 301, fantastic. So, that will help us out eventually. Another magazine. Okay. Magazines can help. Radio Illustrated. I honestly don't think I can learn anything from that. We'll take it all the same. We're actually in very near capacity, so we're going to want to try and make our way home. I just want a freaking screwdriver. Okay. Now, we need to be aware of troubles because we're going to run into them now. So let's go here. This house here, you are now explored. I'd love to make it to that house if possible. Make our way away from the noise. See if we can open this thing with a crowbar. Okay, I think we're getting better at that. We've got some scissors. Cough syrup. There's definitely something in this home. If it's just one thing, we can handle it. We just don't know what that one thing is. It's a boomer, okay. And there's a basement. Okay, oh great, bloated zombie. That's not going to be good. And it explodes. Oh, shoot. We're fighting in a terrible place right now. Okay. Shady zombies every which freaking way. But somehow we managed to we managed to deal with all of that. Okay, so a lot of things happened then. Um, we definitely want that. We're going to grab the flashlight as well if we can. The parts in there are good, but damn it, I don't think we're going to be able to do it. So let's just unload, take the batteries from it. Okay, we are very near capacity. That place is filled with smoke now. Um, filled with bad, bad stuff that has poisoned us slightly. But I'm very surprised that we managed to get through there. I'm going to see if I can smash these corpses in time. Hey, that actually got our survival skill up to, up to one. Which has put our dexterity up. Awesome. I'm happy about that. I'm actually really happy. Um, we might have some rubbish with us. Yeah, remove that for now. Um... Hmm. I'm just not going to be able to fit it, am I? No, it's too much. Uh, what would I get from taking it apart? Lights. See, we get a light strip from taking it apart. 
which is, you know, hmm. What can I do away with? It's a whole heap of gym. Food hydrate is too good. We've got two flashlights with us already. I didn't realize that, so no, we're fine. We're good. I'm gonna unload the other one though. Okay, this room seems to be okay. The other one is gonna be filled with uh, smoke and crap. A flute. Well, now we're talking. But yeah, I, I know I can't take that. Uh, the tie clip. Um, the tie clip we're actually going to take. We're going to wear that tie clip. We don't have a tie, but we are wearing a shirt. So we're going to go ahead and clip that onto ourselves. Uh, not consume. We're going to wear the tie clip. Okay. I think if we open this door, we're going to see a whole heap of smoke. Uh, we're not. Oh, it's actually passed already. That's amazing. Okay, so there's a hammer here. We've got some thread. We're close to capacity yet again. The energy cola we're just going to drink right away. Um, good, we left the rubbish behind. Um, the pot is is a crucial thing for us to have. Um, I would love to have that. <laughs> we'll see if we find any other form of um, carrying thing around. What are you? Dog food. Okay. Great if we want a dog, I suppose. Okay, I'm going to come... Potentially come back for that pot. We're going to see what's downstairs first, though. Nothing else in the bathroom, right? We can see that shocker all the way over. Okay, good to know. Turn back on safe mode as we step downstairs. We're going to wait a turn or two. Open the door. Oh, God, it's a spider basement, isn't it? Oh, it most certainly is. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to get that pot and take that back because it's got chemical making, it's got containing, it's got food cooking, boiling. You need to have a pot. <laughs> this is one of those things that you desperately need. So we're going to have to leave something behind. Um, we could leave computer science behind, something that I really want to read though. Um, hmm. Take the pot, dispose of that. Can I... Now what would I need to... Yeah, so I, I still need to get rid of, like, two units of weight here, so for us to make that work, we need to uh, go ahead and start moving some things around. So looking at volume, it is that that's the most voluminous, and then it's followed by the books, that book, and the bottles of water. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what, we could eat some of that pizza now, because it's going to go off. So let's go ahead and start eating the pizza. Yep, we're full now. Did that drop the volume of the pizzas ever so slightly? It might have a little bit. Um, yeah, we're still way too... Way too... over Hmm. We do need it. We do need it. I'm gonna drop the water. Okay, water we can always get in other ways. Um, let's have a look. Beneath us, can I take one of these? Destination area is full. I can't. E I can't even take one, can I? No. Okay, it is what it is. Now, can I? Oh, but can I go back to the fire axe? No, I don't have enough space. No, I do. I do. Phew. Okay. All right. So we've explored this. There is water here. There's water in a lot of places, though. We've still got the restaurant just to the side of us, but I think we're going to run back with the spoils that we have now. So we just need to make it back. That is the goal now. Ah, uh, we've got a hazmat zombie. Half tempted to kill the hazmat zombie, because he can have some really good stuff for us. It will be filthy, but really good stuff all the same. So let's start moving backwards. We are hearing other noises, though, so that does concern me. Let's go see if we can take him. Okay, that's a good whack. Another good whack. He does grab us, though. We managed to kill him. Potassium iodide tablets. Nice. Um, there's a jumpsuit here. Nothing incredible. Smash him. And let's get safe mode back on. And we're just going to have to start preparing to run for our lives. Should we need to. Are you a... You're a road roller. 
You're lacking wheels. No rolling today, Road Roller. Okay, we've got the shocker all the way over that way. Right, so we need to start heading straight up at this point. Straight and slightly to the side I'm gonna go. Oh, hello, fat zombie. Let's start moving. Okay, yep, yeah, we got trouble coming from behind. Okay, so far so good. You are pulped. Okay, stay moving. We're nearly there. We're nearly back home. Pretty sure we were being followed by that fat zombie, but... We have freaking made it. In one piece, Bran. That's how we do. Well, we're gonna unload the things that we got, that we brought back with us. More books, more water for the time being. Um, we do have one bottle of water with us. Unfortunately not enough to get everything clean that we wanted to, but I think we're gonna have to find a different way to do that. We're gonna have to start um, placing some containers up on the surface to catch rainwater, because eventually uh, the water that we're just getting from toilets isn't gonna be enough to sustain us. Yes, we have ourselves a pot now. That's good. Great news for us. And, well, our man is still alive, and hey, you know what? We're finishing this episode without Bran um, holding on to the edge of existence. He didn't actually get hurt today, so that's good. That's a good thing. We'll see if we can keep it that way in the future. But we're slowly getting there. Our tailoring skill is better, which is something that you're going to need to be able to start to build yourselves armor and to start to get better. Now, I know he is going to be Iron Man. He is going to get there eventually. He is going to be a, a cyborg force to be reckoned with, but to be able to get to that point, it's going to take a little bit of time. We need to survive the early game, which is the difficult part, and we are, we are doing okay. As you can see, we've cleared out this little area around us. A lot of explored houses, a lot of dead zombies, which also works in our favor, but there is just so much city around us where more and more of them can come from. That lab is without a doubt our goal. We're going to want to try and get out towards it next to the big old FEMA camp out the back there. There is going to be all kinds of goodies there for us. The electronic stores as well will also hold those same kind of goodies and there are so many down there. I think we're going to want to try and make ourselves a little cart eventually so that we can haul things around in that. Maybe even like a little bicycle that we can ride around. Who knows? But guys and gals, that has been the episode for now. Bran is still alive. He still has a long way to go, but for now, I think he's actually doing okay. He's been feeling good over these last few days. The food and things like that that he's been having, you know, just twanging away on that banjo, it's uh, making him happy. Sitting down here in this basement with like his little stove that he can't use and the bloody machine gun that he's got sitting there, hoping maybe to be able to use one day. We'll see about that, but uh, it's been an existence living in darkness and trying to live as quietly as possible. A difficult one, but one that he is uh, beginning to excel at. Thank you all for joining me. I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.